Um, we'll go on to uh, item seven as the room's clearing out, uh, 7A, presentation by Police Chief David Boggs on department updates and related discussion. Mayor, Council, thank you. David Boggs, Police Chief. I'm not sure I can follow Gala, but I'm going to try. <laughs> um, we well, wanted to give you, you kind of a rugby. I uh, don't think I could survive rugby with those teenagers. I'm, too much is broken already. Um, I want to take just three or four minutes and actually give you kind of a quick overview of where the police department is here, looking at 2017 and a couple items into 2018, especially fiscal 18. Um, we're going to talk just a minute about Vision 2025, our current grant participation, kind of where the department is in terms of growth and development and the partnerships that we have that we think are some that need to be highlighted and celebrated. Um, we do everything in BAPD on our core values, integrity, professionalism, accountability, courage, and compassion. Uh, for Vision 2025, as you all well know, when the citizens extended that, it helped us tremendously in terms of hiring. And we're planning on hiring 20 police officers over the next five. Ten will have been hired by October of this year, and I'll talk more about those in just a minute. Five are about to graduate the police academy. The first five and the second five will come on in the class in October. Uh, this year, you all approved a substantial amount of money, part of it with Vision Money and part of it with STCI to substantially upgrade our fleet. 22 new patrol vehicles will be acquired through the course of this fiscal year and uh, five unmarked vehicles. In the beginning of fiscal 18, we're going to participate in a P25 radio upgrade. That's going to be part of our proposal in next year's budget to kind of give us the cutting edge communications technology. And we'll be working with Mark Ketchum and Fire and others to get over onto the P25 system the city currently has. <laughs> our current grants, uh, some of them are, are grants that we renew every year, like OSHO and JAG. Our VOCA grant has a crime our advocate in it. But one of the ones we really are proud of, Alicia Wickersham took it upon herself to uh, put in for a firehouse subs grant that's going to put 20 AEDs out in patrol cars, which is going to be a great benefit for our citizens, and we appreciate her doing that. In terms of growth and development, BAPD, we're running two police academies in the same year. Uh, we had one that is currently going and the second one will start in October, which is a tremendous strain on our training staff and with in-service and everything else, but they wanted to do it. They want to get these officers out faster and so they're, they're doing their part to help the agency. We're currently authorized 141 sworn police officers in this fiscal year. That'll move to 146 in July and that's what's going to encompass the next class. By 2021, when we fully encompass vision and that extension of the vision tax, we'll be at 156 sworn. Uh, training staff completely revamped the written and physical testing and produced an excellent recruiting video, which some of you probably have seen. And that leads into the fact that we're at 228 applicants for the recruit class in October. Um, that's a tremendous number, and it's directly due to the training staff and all their hard work. Uh, testing will be April 1st for their physical testing, and we'll start October 17 with the next academy. The 2014 bond package uh, that got approved by the taxpayers completely upgraded the computers in the cars. We've got high-speed wireless to all the cars now, and by this summer, everybody will have new Dell laptops completely distributed through operations. Dispatch is currently managing about 85,000 calls for service annually and is coordinating with fire to do emergency medical dispatch. Uh, that's a constantly evolving process to make sure that they're given the best possible customer service to the citizens of Broken Arrow. Our jail staff processed over 2,000 bookings last year, and we see that just kind of steadily increasing. Uh, operations expanded the bicycle patrol unit because of the growth in the downtown area, our expanded need for trail coverage, and uh, special events. Obviously, we can do a lot of things with bicycles that we can't do on walking beats. Um, one of the things we're super proud of as well, uh, Lanny and his staff at the animal shelter has sustained in excess of 90% live release rate for dogs for well over a year now. Technically, that makes us a no-kill shelter, although we don't say it that way very often because it sometimes can have different connotations but they're sustaining in excess of 90%, which is tremendous, because that's what we want. We want all the animals out there to go home. Uh, they're doing a great job working actively with OAA volunteers and over 85 rescue groups to make sure that those animals get relocated as many times as possible. Our agency was reaccredited in 2017 by the Oklahoma Association of Chiefs of Police uh, with a notable 100% compliance rate, which means they did not find a single problem at BAPD in terms of our adherence to our policies and procedures. That's pretty unusual that anybody does 100% compliance. Normally they can find something, but it's a testament to our folks and the great job that they did. And they've also got, most of our policies also are nationally <coughs> compliant. 
Currently, the agency's in process of moving from Windstream to AT&T to be the service provider for 911 calls. We've discussed that once or twice, but that's going to be a tremendous benefit to our citizens, and then we'll be able to better coordinate our services with the metro area around Tulsa. And I'd be remiss if I didn't get to say one more time that we've got a full-time emergency manager on the police department now. So, um, Lastly, task force partnerships. Uh, you have Broken Arrow Police Officers with the Drug Enforcement Administration, U.S. Marshal Service, FBI, Violent Crimes Task Force, and we've got somebody embedded with the Secret Service who does computer forensics. So Broken Arrow Police Department's actually on the cutting edge of all these things. And so that you know and our citizens know, they're doing most of this work that directly impacts right here Broken Arrow. They're not spending all their time in, in adjacent cities. They're doing a lot of work for our citizens right here at home and the reach for these task forces are incredible. So if we have a problem here, they're able to cross all the jurisdictional lines necessary to make sure that we get our citizens the best possible service. And with that, I'll take any questions you might have. Any questions, Chief? <clears throat> I, that's pretty, that's very self-explanatory. I mean, I really, <coughs> having been around a few years, I've seen all these things come about and I want to commend you and all your staff for the the way that you have all of you have worked together to make this police force I think the best in Oklahoma and maybe the southwest and who knows where because it's 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 just tremendous it makes me very proud to be well, I appreciate with that you. I'd say we've got amazing employees across the entire agency and I'd stack BAPD up against anybody in the nation so one day the white units will disappear? Yes, sir. Uh, Major Irwin, are we probably six to eight months for that? Roughly, yes. Roughly? We'll hold you to it. Within 18. There you go. See? <laughs> there you go. Well, they're, they're moving towards pool vehicles, but obviously we've got to maintain a pool fleet. They kind of keep getting shuffled down, but as the new cars come on, especially into fiscal 18, our goal is to, to get them out of here. Great. Could real quick. Um, the chief shared with me today a little information about the recruitment, uh, the number of folks that applied for uh, this next class. You may want to share with the city council just the uh, outstanding interest in sure. coming I'd to work for us. Move through it rather quickly there, but 228 total applicants right now, we're looking at eight positions. And so that's going to be tremendous, tremendously competitive. It's a very diverse group. The training staff's done a great job reaching people all over the United States. And uh, you know, I think word of mouth about the quality at BAPD is really reaping a tremendous amount of benefits. So we're really proud of the job that they've done. Uh, if we get more applicants than eight, we will probably come back and maybe dip just a little deeper in division and make sure that we secure as many great applicants as we can. But we're pretty proud of the pool we've got. I'd say that's probably the, the largest pool in the whole metro as far as uh, applicants for a police officer opening. So. I would imagine it might be. Yes. Yeah. I just thought that was incredible. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it is. is. Thank you all very much. Good job. Thank, Thank you. you.